This is Coogan Cassis for Eiffel TV in association with Macklin's Gym Marbella. We're at the Max Smelling Gym here in Berlin. With me, I've got the CEO of Sowland Events, Chris Mayer. How are you, sir? Okay, doing well. Yep. Great day today, yes. We've got a great fight week coming up. Absolutely. Uh, England's very own Paul Smith taking on Arthur Abraham in the, the rematch. Uh, how did you see this fight going, first of all, Chris? Oh, come on. The first one was, um, was quite close from an uh, English perspective. We didn't. We, we saw a little bit different. However, come on, it was uh, close enough that we agreed to a rematch. So, and this is what we're doing on Saturday. So, um, but we are now in Arthur's hometown. There are going to be a couple more fans there. Okay, I'm aware that um, Paul sold a couple of tickets as well to England to to his fans. So, I th I I think there will be a brilliant crowd on Saturday. And they, we're going to have some verbal arguments, I would say. What sort of reception can Paul Smith expect come Saturday night at the O2 World? Well, I expect perhaps a quarter or a third would support him, so he would have a good crowd with him. Um, this was named after Max Schmeling. Can you talk to me a little bit about Max Schmeling, Chris, please? Well, come on. Um, he's the greatest German fighter. Um, unfortunately, his biggest dream was uh, to turn 100 years of age, but unfortunately he died with 99, 10 years ago. However, look, um, we got uh, permission to use his name short before he died. Wilfried, the Grandmaster and uh, old senior of our company, uh, wrote him a letter uh, 10 years ago and um, we received personally from him permission to use the name for this, uh, for this our gym. How long has Jim been here, Chris? Uh, actually, ten years. And tell me the types of fighters. Obviously, you know, we just went backstage there. We saw all the kits laid out, you know, for guys like Marco Hook and Arthur Abraham. Who else trains here? Well, um, the last uh, couple of years were all the trainer, all the all the fighters from Uli Wegner, which includes um, Sven Otki, Marcus Bayer, who once fought Richie Woodall in Telford. And uh, uh, all his other fighters, Timo Hoffman, uh, just a long number of fighters. Um, obviously, um, Sauland and Matrim have obviously got close connections, and I know they're planning something to be announced in the next few days. So there's a strong link up here between Germany and England in that respect. Yes, well, and there's a second generation. I mean, uh, Barry Hearn uh, did a lot with Wilfried. Uh, Sauerland uh, in the past with Kallet's father and now the two sons are dealing together and honestly um, uh, Matchroom is a great promoter I know all the people there for, for ages and uh, they know us and w I think we all know each other that we can trust We're getting to know Kalle and Lisa more and more as obviously their involvement with you know things happening in England they're signing UK fighters with the likes yeah. of George Groves and David yeah. Price yeah. Um, what are they like to work with day to day? Oh, come on, they are more, they're more British than they are German, uh, this number one. Uh, they hold, uh, both hold German passports, but uh, they're more British and, and Londoners, uh, as they are Germans. But however, look, um, um, they're running here and they're uh, great guys. I know them now, I don't know, for 18 or 20 years. And they grow up and, and grew into boxing and they're true boxing guys and uh, real and ent enthusiastic, uh, enthusiast, and uh, it's great to work with. Um, also, sorry, Saturday sees the start of a new relationship with a new TV company here, uh, Sat1. Yeah. So talk to me a little bit about that. Well, look, we have been with um, uh, public-owned national TV ARD for the last uh, 11 years, and now we'll go back to private. Beforehand, we were with uh, another private network. Uh, they are free to air. Set one, they are, um, every household can, can watch them. There's something like perhaps you can compare with ITV, so everybody knows it, everybody has it uh, programmed in their TV. And uh, they're true professionals. They've done boxing the last couple of years, not with us, but with other fighters like with Felix Sturm or, uh, uh, and others. And uh, look now, we are looking optimistic to the future. There's a lot of potential great fights that could be made between uh, fighters within the Salon camp and also yeah. fighters within England. Yeah. Um, and obviously Saturday night is testament to that, that yeah. these fights can be made if obviously there's a close relationship between the promoters. Well, look, I can't say tell you what, what, what is planned, so I keep quiet for a moment. <laughs> um, is this 
but there will be stuff coming up, big stuff coming up involving obviously Southland events. Yeah, of course. Come on, um, we are ready to go, and uh, well, let's say it's it's uh, we got a good working relationship. Good things will come up, sure. Okay, Chris. Listen, thanks for giving us a little bit of your time, and uh, we we'll look forward to Saturday night. May the best man win. See you soon. See you soon.